It's another walk to work day today. Got the dog again. It's a baby seagull. Hi, buddy. Does anyone know what to do with a baby seagull? He's very sweet. Or she. Oh, I fed the bird. It ate some stuff. I had this jar of cockles. I figured it would like that. And Seem to. So next a few of those. I don't really know what to do with it though. I can't leave it in here because my dog will eat it. If I put it in the car park, a car will squash it. So I'm a little bit of a loss. I've just tucked it right up in the corner in some grass. I'm hoping it'll stay there. Fingers crossed. Okay, I'm gonna leave out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave out my furniture making content for just a little bit longer but I have a really great woodworking tip to share with you. Check it out. Let's go. some of these pieces of oak and I need to rip them down it's 100 mil strips the trouble is this line here is not straight and so if I try and run this along the fence on the table saw it's just gonna give me a wonky line transplanted on this side so I've got to flatten this side first now I don't have a jointer which means I've got to do this by hand and what I like to do is I'll put the piece of wood on something that I know is absolutely flat, like my table saw, and I just take a pencil, preferably like one of these hexagonal boys, and then I will just scribe the line. And this is transplanting the line from the table saw straight onto the piece of wood. So I know that this line is absolutely straight. So you see that pencil line? It's like thicker up this end and it's thicker on this end, but in the middle, it's barely anything. So that tells me that I need to go over to my hand plane now, chop off a bit from this side and chop off a bit from that side. Once it's close enough, that's fine. I'll just run it through the table saw, spin it around and run it through again. But this is a good way to get you on that first step. But this will give you a mostly straight line, which you can then correct with the saw blade. Follow along. I sent seagull shenanigans. All right, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect even, but as long as it's a lot flatter than it was, and you can see here, it looks much better than it did a minute ago. What we can do now is run that freshly planed edge up against the table saw like this. And we're just gonna zip off a tiny amount. Maybe a little bit more than that, like this. Now our hand planed edge is gonna run alongside this fence and hopefully transfer this mostly straight line to this side. Now finally, we can flip that around. Now this is our freshly sawn edge. And when you put that up against the fence, you can see that it's absolutely flat. I'm just gonna move this in a little bit more. And we'll repeat that 
process. Now we have two lines that are perfectly flat. And because both of these lines are now parallel to each other, if I put it up against my chop saw, I can now cut a perfect 90 degrees as well. And that's how you process your boards into manageable, usable timber. It's lunchtime in the office. Chicken bites. We're just, uh, just checking on him. Where'd he go? That's it, workshop's closed. Just waiting for Maya to go to bed and then I can sneak away to the office for late night editing. Is this it, you going to bed? Yes. Good night. <laughs>